Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's episode we take a look at the likely ancestor of the PDA, the Atari Portfolio. The Atari Portfolio was introduced in 1989 and is about the size of a, a video cassette. This small computer is basically an IBM PC compatible and can therefore be used universally. The Atari portfolio is equipped with a few built-in programs that can be started via the function keys. These include an address book, a calendar, a text editor and a spreadsheet. With additional software it could also be used for programming, games and control and regulation. The Atari portfolio became modestly famous through the movie Terminator 2. The specifications of this little computer an easy to use keyboard with a nice click feeling um, and a monochrome 240 by 640 pixel display. The CPU is an uh, Intel 8088 with 4.9 megahertz. In this version, in this computer, it is an uh, Intel 80C88 and it's a 16 bit processor. It came with 128 kilobytes of RAM and can uh, upgrade it to 512 kilobyte additional RAM via an external adapter. The 256 kilobyte read only memory we have built in and it can be powered with three AA batteries or a power supply. The expansion options of this little computer are memory cards from 32 to 128 kilobytes and serial on parallel ports via an external adapter. So you can um, connect the Atari portfolio to a normal PC. The system software that is built in is a DIPDOS as the operating system and this is compatible with the MS-DOS 1.2.11 uh, and it has a built-in data transfer program. Uh, for the internal settings there is a nice menu and so that's it for specs and theory and let's get started. Here we are on the bench. Let's take a look on this Atari portfolio. See it's a nice little computer. We can open the lid. Here we have the LCD screen and the speaker. And here we have this keyboard. It's a keyboard with angled keys and it's nice to type. On the right side we have the expansion bus. You can clip on several extensions. In this area we have the battery compartment. There you can put on uh, three AA batteries in it to power on. On this side we have uh, the socket for uh, PSU and here we have the uh, card slot. So. And there is nothing to show. Anything else. So let's open up and take a look inside. The screws are hidden under the rubber feet. These are Phillips screws. Now let's take this off and also here. So I'll 
Couscous. And here we are in you can see some components there. It's a nice board. There's the connection to the LCD. It's logged in. So And it's all SMD components. Yeah, all SMD. So. And here we have this main board out. There we have the processor, some ROMs, capacitor, let's take a look. It's not ideal to measure a capacitor in circuit, but we can get an idea if this thing is okay. Two hundred and thirty-seven. And what is this? Two hundred twenty microfarads. It's okay. All in all, the board is in good shape. Now so let's put this thing together and then we try it.
So, here we have this thing together. And now let's test. We put in three AA batteries. And here. See, it's booting. Okay, we have operating system version 1.072. The BIOS version is 1.072. And here we have, you can choose the uh, type of keyboard. So I prefer D. It's a German keyboard. That's okay, that's okay. And you see it's booted, DIP operating system, 2.11. Uh, and copyright is for 1989. So if you press the Atari key and A, we have the address book. If you press menu, you get a menu. I can choose address book, calculator, time scheduler, a text editor, system preferences, and a calculation. So you choose calculation, you get the calculation, press text editor, you get a text editor, a calculator. You can have a function, uh, several function keys. Over function keys, you can put this on or off. With the up and down arrows and the Atari key, you can adjust the contrast. Press escape, you get to the operating system. It's a DOS based operating system. You can press the for directory. You can see the system. You can see the system folder. There's nothing there. So that is for this tour. There's nothing else to see and it's working and it's look fine here and there a little bit of cleaning with the uh, Windex and so on but it's working the only thing we have to do is to glue this rubber feet in place. For this I use some tapes for taping for taping LCD screens. And we get this tape this wider tape. Here is the start. It's a similar tape like here was in from original.
could glue this in place with some glue but I think this method is easier if you have to put get inside you can open this easier and it is more original but in first place in factory it's what made it was made the same so So and here we have it. This nice Atari portfolio. Take inside, it's okay inside, it's very clean. It works very well. And so it is working and looks amazing this brings us to the end of this episode the atari portfolio is a very useful little computer and very well designed it has some good accessories maybe i can show you a few more here on the channel in the near future i hope you enjoyed this little trip to this uh, not so normal um, computer. If you liked it, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. If you want something to say to me or have any questions or ideas, please put a comment in the comment section down below. You can also support the channel on Patreon. The link is at the end of the description and make sure you didn't miss any episode by hitting the bell icon and so goodbye and see you